It is 6.54 on this Wednesday morning. We want to recap a few of your top stories. A Pawtucket man has been arrested in connection with an armed carjacking and murder in Boston. It happened in the city's Back Bay neighborhood. Yesterday morning near the Prudential Center, a taxi driver, Lucas Sonoruma, shot and killed. Suspect 34-year-old Philip Foy, tracked down, taken into custody, is due in court today to face murder, armed carjacking, and gun charges. Testimony in the trial of a Blackstone woman will continue in Worcester today. Erica Murray is charged with murder after investigators uncovered the remains of three babies in her home in 2014. Her defense has argued that she is suffering from mental illness. A former neighbor who first alerted police to the home's conditions took to the stand yesterday. Eyewitness News has a crew in Worcester and will have updates for you throughout the day. Police in Massachusetts still looking for a person they say kidnapped and sexually assaulted a young girl. All started Friday in Webster, Mass, which is close to the northwest corner of Rhode Island. Police say the girl was on her bike. A stranger approached her and enticed under the guise he needed to get some help for a friend. Webster Police asking anyone with information to contact them. A groundbreaking schedule for noontime today on the new East Providence High School. After voters approved millions to fix Rhode Island schools, a more than 300,000 square foot building will be considered to be a state-of-the-art school featuring 45 core classrooms, 10 science labs, and two greenhouses. School officials in North Attleboro have been forced to make a last-minute change to this Friday's high school graduation because the bleachers at North Attleboro's high school football field are deemed unsafe. District just got the engineering report on the nearly 50-year-old structure Monday. It says without considerable attention, they're at risk of collapsing. So graduation has been moved to the community field, which is about a mile and a half from the high school. And those are your top stories on this Wednesday morning. You can look for updates all day on Eyewitness News, the WPRI 12 app, and WPRI.